Hi everyone, I'm Chief Charanka and welcome back to my Europa Universalist 4 campaign as Super Hard Frogs. We are playing on hard difficulty with AI bonuses and we, I believe, we left off just defeating England in the Hundred Years War. Now, I mentioned like early in episodes that because I have this uh, map mode buttons uh, mod enabled, I can't see uh, certain things in the in the production interface. But you know, it's it's not too bad. It's just like there there are no buttons to click, so it's not it's not really that bad. And unfortunately, I wanted to change it, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way because I've started it out with the mod enabled, and yeah, I don't want to go back. So. Uh, yeah, we just have to deal with it. Okay, so uh, I remember two things. I remember first, I have to set the rivals, and second, I wanted to change my trade port. But I do not have enough diplo power, so I can't do it right now. Okay, now I'm definitely going to set Aragon as a rival, because Castile hates him, and Hungary. Oh, wait. Yeah, Castile, Castile, and Hungary. And those are my two allies. And the second rival I want to set is probably Austria, because what I hope will happen very soon is the destruction of uh, uh, of Burg Burgundy. Like uh, I want the Burgundian inheritance event to fire. So I don't really want to fight Burgundy right now. I'd rather straight up fight Austria. Okay. Now, do I still guarantee Scotland? Yeah, I should stop doing that because it's not really benefiting me at all. Okay. Oh, so we finished our mission. That's good. We gained 10 army tradition and 50 admin power. So that's good. Okay. Auvergne, Olin. Okay. So all these, all our vassals want to marry us, but I'm just gonna say no. Uh, improve relations with Provence. So how are you feeling? They hate me. They're hostile. Okay. So that's not gonna happen. Create a proper fleet. That sounds reasonable. 21 ships. Okay. Well, I guess. I guess that's okay. We can do that. We have a ton of gold. So we should probably build up a trade navy. Okay. Now, we have currently, we have two heavies. Five lights and no galleys. We have two cogs. Okay. Um, I think you should split. Okay, so this should be like I want to have a channel army or is this considered inland sea? Inland sea. Go to Argent. No, those are not inland seas. Okay, so what I want, I want to have one navy of just heavies in north, and I want to have my trade fleet over here, and maybe even a galley fleet. Or, yeah, trade fleets can be anywhere, but the galley fleet. Okay, so early Karak, go there. And I will build ships. I'm gonna build probably five galleys. Uh, build them here. Um, I want to build. Probably three heavies I'm gonna build here and uh, three cogs right here. So the heavies are gonna stay, cogs are gonna come up here. So I'm gonna have five cogs, five. Uh, galleys, five heavies, and five trade fleet. Okay, so that's a good start. And 
I need to insult all my rivals. And embargo and whatnot. So first, Aragon. Uh, economy, embargo. Boom. Yeah. I think I can also insult them. Not sure though. And Austria. Hold on. Okay. Castile loves us. 200. And Hungary does as well, but they're currently in two wars. And they're getting beat. Big time. Lithuania, Poland, and Genoa is even in here. Poor guys. Poor guys. Um, I wanted to embargo Austria. Oh, I did. It, he's still embargoed. Okay. Can I send an insult? Second of March. Okay. I think it also gives uh, power projection. If you insult your enemies. And we are 16th in the world, which is good. Military rank, ad admin rank 2. Okay. Sent an insult. Uh, nope, it did not. Okay, well done. I guess it, it doesn't really work. Alright, never mind that. Then I don't have to do that. Okay. I should probably fabricate on Aragon. Fabricate Girona. I mean... Do you have any claims to steal? He does, on Aragon. But he can reach... He can only reach Alicante. Okay... So, basically, I will do, I will claim, yeah, I think we're gonna get ready for the war with Aragon. Claim Jerome. Hopefully we're not gonna, whatever, hopefully we won't, what? Oh, come on, I just took my cores back. This is stupid. I hate this coalition system. Well, it's only Burgundy, but still. It's so weird. And if you look at if you look at the ledger, the armies are so tough. I mean really. This AI bonus is Look at manpower, they're getting Oh it doesn't show. But here it's here it shows. AI bonuses plus fifty percent. Burgundy has fifty guys, fifty thousand guys. And France is somewhere down here. <laughs> I mean, I could build more. I, I, I definitely could. And I think I should. I think I should. 16-4. And maybe I should build one. Two, three. And maybe another cav. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Relaxing. Okay, Navarro became a vassal of Castile. That's okay. Usually happens. So, whenever we have a free diplomat, we will go to war with Aragon. Like, immediately. They are allied to... who? They're currently at war with the Papal State, and they're allied with Portugal and Urbino. Okay. So, whenever either Hungary or the claim is done, we will declare war. It's gonna be nice. We don't have enough diplo power yet to change our trade port. Because I wanted to change it because Bordeaux 
Wait. Bordeaux is an end node. So it makes much more sense to push all the trade into Bordeaux and then collect it from there. Okay, Papal States invading Aragon. It's good. How are you doing anyway? Actually winning, okay. Well, you should. I mean, it's just a pope. Oh! Really? Really? Um, that is actually surprising, but okay. Okay, so our vassals joined, obviously. Hungary joined, and Castile joined. What are you thinking, dude? Who are you allied with? You're just allied with crap. What? What? Burgundian conquest of Champagne. Yeah, I don't think that that was smart at all. Dude, that was just totally awful. Okay, but Burgundy does have a lot of troops, so I should probably put my guys on supportive and run away. What a retard. Can we... Is he gonna get us? No, he's not. Actually... Come here. Now go over here. Okay, good. Because I, I don't have enough morale... To actually fight him just now. Guess Aragorn has to wait. What a stupid dude. And... Let's go nuts, guys. I don't know. It's either they go bum rush everything, or they just stay in their own country. I don't know why why they do that. It's not really it's not really effective. I mean, now they're gonna go somewhere and just take everything. It just feels silly. It really does. Declared war on the papal state. Okay, we are being attacked, but he has a crossing penalty, so we can probably defend. We have better morale, and he's better discipline. But he has a one-two. We have a four-four. So we're winning. We're winning decisively. That is nice. He crushed one of our vassals' army, unfortunately. But it was. I don't know, that was really stupid of him declaring war, but I, honestly, I just, I didn't expect it. You know, luckily he declared war right now, and not while I was, while I was at war with um, Aragon, because I was actually about to declare war on Aragon. So, lucky me, in this case. He does have a lot of troops. He didn't. He brought in Cleves. Uh, he has 44k. God, oh my God. 
39 guys and 12. That's so insane. This guy is really insane. Crush his armies now. Put my guys on the border. We have to steal. Wow. That was a bad battle. Negative two. I'm retired like that. Okay, we won the battle. I should stop doing that. It's not really a smart idea to do that all the time. So, we're gonna see just shit. And, uh, actually, can I crush? If I follow, can I crush it? Probably not. Because I've low morale myself. Probably I won't be able to. How much uh, ships? He has zero ships. Okay, good. Um, so, we will locate him. As good as possible. <laughs> Actually, figured can we might we might be able to uh, locate Picardy. Actually, uh, crush his army. Yep, got it. It's crushed. It's not crushed. Okay, we, we really, we did actually crush this. Oh, Castile, I sent my army help Castile. Come on, Brittany has what? Why are you entering coalitions against me? I'm not doing anything. This is. Oh my god, and, and the first time actually I played this, I, in one war, I full annexed Provence, <laughs> so the entire world got mad at me. I mean, I do understand that somehow, but, or somewhat, but still, hope we can win. I don't want to lose any battles. Come on. Come on, do it. So close, but we won. to Holland. What I'll try to do is try and crush his army if possible. Maybe take uh, take out Berg first. Didn't crush. It's hard to predict where he might go, but we'll find it out. Find out where he will go. Okay, get back here. Let our vassals do the sieging. I don't really want to do that. It's not my business. Not my type of stuff, you know. I'd try to do other things. What's happening? Brittany? Come on, dude. Stop it. Now, I guess right now it would have been much better if I would have picked a 
from. Um, I mean, Burgundy is a rival. But I really was not... I didn't expect him to declare war on me. What?! I lost my army. I just lost my army. I just lost my army. That is insane! How is that even possible? <laughs> what? That makes no sense at all. Like, literally, no sense. Alright, but uh, there was was enough for this episode I would say so uh, see you next time uh, if you if you liked it then you know please click the button uh, maybe even comment or subscribe see you next time bye bye